a perfect record. The only Division I team this season, FBS team, to get it done. They scored on their first possession, five plays. They're up 7-0. Alabama, second possession. John Parker Wilson. Robert Johnson at the crossroads. Take another look at this pick. Stevenson Sylvester gets the spot shadow, and he is going to be pressuring Wilson. Matt mentioned how many times Wilson got sacked. He got hurried there. Utah would score off the turnover. They're up 14 0. Then Brian Johnson, season high 336 yards. Braden Godfrey right there. It's 21 0. Alabama gave up 27 first quarter points all season. They gave up 21 in this game. All right, John Michael Boswell. Matt mentioned Andre Smith out, suspended. And Koa Misi takes advantage of the freshman. Alabama just 31 yards rushing in this football game. 21-3. Utah punting its first three and out of the ball game. Javier Arenas is going to give the Tide something to celebrate. Breaking a bunch of tackles right there. Sloppy tackling by the Utes. 73-yard touchdown, the longest such return in Sugar Bowl history. It's 21-10 at the half, and you thought, you know what? Utah got out, but Alabama's going to come back, especially after Utah received the kickoff. Its first play fumbled, led to this. Wilson to Glenn Coffey, 17 unanswered, and the tide has turned, or so you thought. But then Johnson, his third touchdown pass, David Reed from 28 in Utah, 28 to 7. Fourth quarter, still 28 7, 28 17. John Parker Wilson fum uh, fumbles after Sean Smith tackles him. Sylvester recovers eight sacks in this game, 31 17. Roll tied? No, it was tied roll. Johnson, a big hero with the arm. You heard Nick Saban in the post-game press conference say he thought he was the best quarterback uh, schematically that they had seen this season. Remember, this is the team that played Tim Tebow and Florida. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty good. Total yards, it was all Utah and Utah. Second time they've been the uh, BCS team to come in the non-BCS team to come in and they crashed the party. And since the BCS came into play in 98, there have been only five teams not from the main BCS conferences to go undefeated. Utah, now the first team from any conference in that time period to record multiple undefeated seasons. The Utes with one more game than the 04 team that finished 12 and 0. Gonna be very interesting. This is a team that beat Oregon State, but beat USC. Yeah. Right? Beat TCU, beat undefeated Boise. Beat BYU, won at Michigan. Hello.